Hi Cancer, this is your reading with me for November 1st to the 7th. We're going to do a tarot reading, see what's coming through for you. And I just wanted to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you'd like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below as well. They are done within 12 to 24 hours with me. And the last thing I wanted to mention is intention items, which thousands of people have seen results with, are on my website. So do check those out as well. There are so many beautiful items like bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse, intention pouches with different spices and herbs and also there's candles and crystals and pendulums, divination coins. Um, these are all meditated with and saged and the review section is at the bottom of my website and yeah there are so many beautiful candles um, which are handmade, hand poured. They are beautifully decorated. You can check out the pictures or what they actually look like inside as well. <laughs> uh, so yeah, everything is there. So let's get started straight away with your reading. you've got here the ten of cups all right you have the lovers you literally have the hierophant with the four of pentacles it's a pretty solid week you've also got the strength card with the hermit and the six of cups oh my goodness wow Okay, so the Five of Cups here shows that some of you may have felt a lot of sadness, a lot of sadness prior to this week. You may have been having a bad week. I just feel like this week is just such a beautiful week of recovery, happiness, joy, feeling content with the people around you, feeling respected, adored. Um, it's almost like there's this hand of healing over you and there's a hand of love that is going over you, which I think is so soothing and so protective and really, really beautiful. Um, especially with the Six of Cups, there's a sense of nostalgia. You know, family could be very supportive towards you. Um, someone romantically can be very supportive towards you, communicative with you, respectful towards you, understanding towards you, kind towards you. You, you get my point, right? So... I feel like there's just such a such a stunning energy here, which I think is just um it's so beautiful, you know? Ah, it's so it's it really is one of the one of the strongest readings, I think, for this week in terms of zodiac signs. Um it, it really is one of the best um for for this week. And it is Cancer, which I think is very, very interesting. So the Four of Pentacles here really does go to show that many of you are focusing on stability, right? You want stability, you want to, you know, you want to keep that stability, you want to feel stable, you want to feel happy, you want to feel content. Hierophant is also stability and security, it's a root chakra energy. This really goes to show that many of you are going to be um, much better dealing with issues in your root chakra. So the root chakra actually regulates things like your lower back, it, uh, adrenal glands, uh, your, your skeleton, um, it also is to do with blood, for example, as well. Knees, uh, hips, spine, feet, yep, feet as well. So these are issues, for example, if you've had issues in these particular areas, they seem to be healing, getting a little bit better. It doesn't seem to be giving you as much pain in this particular week. So your, your um, root chakra is being regulated uh, a little bit more in this week, which I think is nice. Obviously, if you have any medical concerns, go see, you know, doctors, medical professionals, you know, things like that. But I just feel that for many of you, if you've had issues in these these areas, they seem to just be getting a little bit better. And these areas um, also may not be as heavily affected for you um, in the next week. Like some of you might not even, you know, think so much about, oh, like spine issues, but that's because you don't, you don't perhaps have any, but you know, it's, it just goes to show that that's not going to affect you basically. That's what I'm saying is that those, those areas are not going to be so harsh on you. Um, so that's what I see here. So that's the strength card as well, interestingly enough, you know, that fire energy. Um, there's definitely just so much strength within you, so much confidence within you. The hermit here goes to show that many of you are feeling pretty like by yourself, but you feel confident, you feel comfortable. The six of cups here shows a really nice energy of even contact from, from a distance, especially with the lovers and the ten of cups, where someone is wanting to really talk to you um, and be around you. And I think that it's really nice actually in so many ways because there's just such a nice, a nice potent energy here of happiness and joy and love. 
like I do feel like there is love. Now for some of you that are completely single, what I will say is that this form of love can also come from friendships, it can come from family, it can come from people close, near and dear to you that are wanting to support you, wanting to be there for you, wanting you to feel better, happier, stronger. So that's another thing that I definitely see here, which I think is just so, so powerful, is that there is such a powerful energy here of love and respect, um, which I think is very crucial. Okay, Page of Cups, you may be feeling very creative, really creative, okay, it's like a strong creative vibe is definitely coming through here, so you may be feeling super creative, having a ton of fun with things that you want to do. You know, overall it's a really nice week. The fives in tarot indicate change and perspective. So your perspective is really changing this week. And it can even be a process throughout the week as well where, you know, you kind of go into it feeling still somewhat sad, somewhat a little bit down, and then you start to just get that lively, lively energy back and you start to feel so much better. Speaking of lively, look at this. Page of Wands here, right? The Page of Wands, Page of Cups. These are really beautiful energies of just feeling so much better um, and just, again, feeling good feeling really, really good. And I think that it's almost like a test as well, right? So there's a bit of a test here where the universe wants to see how you can function in your own energy, how you can, you know, do things when sometimes things are not ideal and sometimes things are not so great. So ultimately, things are looking much, much better here for you, Cancer. Things are looking so much stronger. And I think that there's a sense here of you finding peace and, and happiness really in that aspect, even though at times you can feel confused, not so happy, um, you know, a bit indecisive, sometimes even defensive. You may not always feel so great, but you're trying. And I think that that trying energy just absolutely goes to show that despite what you're feeling, especially with this Five of Swords, you're trying to find the positives where you can, um, especially with the Ten of Pentacles, which can be so hard, not even going to lie, you know, but that just goes to show your strength and your confidence in terms of what you are trying to do and how you're trying to go about things. It's just bringing you so much more. And I think that that beautiful balance, which can also be a delicate balance, is really proving um, a lot in terms of happiness and joy. So Page of Wands, right? You got a lot of... Um, I've got two pages here actually. <laughs> These pages go to show that through any obstacles and challenges, you're getting through them. So any obstacles and challenges in regards to work, love, career, family, you are getting through them. You are marching through them. You're finding joy. You're finding happiness. Your root chakra is very, very strong in this week, Cancer, which basically means that if you're trying to like build a business, if you're trying to put ideas together, if you're trying to make plans, it is a great time to do so because Mercury also goes into Scorpio, which helps to support the water signs. And also Venus enters Capricorn, which again is really, really powerful for a sign like Cancer, which is also known to be quite a family driven sort of energy, right? Which is Cancer. It's like a mother nurturing energy, moon sign energy, zodiac sign. You know what I mean? Like Cancer is really connected to both of those. Um, a, the, the, the planet, Venus, but also B, um, well, Venus and Mercury, but also connected very nicely to uh, Capricorn and Scorpio. So that's what I wanted to mention there as well. Yeah, so when Venus enters Capricorn, that's where this self, this beautiful soothing energy comes in. And then when Mercury enters Scorpio, you know, some really nice conversations can happen. Speaking of Scorpio, look, we've got the Knight of Cups, right? People can want to come towards you, talk to you, be more... Um, be more moving towards you, make things happen with you a lot more, um, be nicer towards you and things like that. So that's obviously like just such a like powerful energy here as well. I definitely feel like there's going to be people that are going to want to reach out to you, talk to you, um, you know, again, just be really, really nice to you. And I think that that again, just goes to show like such a, like such a powerful energy in so many ways, because you'll see that they genuinely do care and they want to be towards you rather than against you. So it's a beautiful week here where I just feel like there's a lot happening, there's a lot of creativity, fun, root chakra is the most significant thing I can tell you, is that this is, the power of your root chakra is very strong, and um, yeah, especially in regards to love, there can be someone that also wants to reach out to you as well during this time. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with the Mercury Realms edition two cards. Okay, Let's see what messages we have. I'm going to reach out soon, yeah. So that's the thing is I see a very soothing energy, a very supportive energy around you, especially with Venus entering Capricorn, like I mentioned a million times now. You get my point, right? Astrologically, things are supporting you. You're feeling a lot better. It's a beautiful reading. It really, really is. And I think that it just goes to show you as well, 
do you take care of yourself it's also a test from the universe to see how much you can also do for yourself so you know make it a thing where you do more for yourself because some of you may be feeling like i don't want to do anything for myself i just want to sit here and wait for things to get better <laughs> so you know it's one of those things like yeah you know you got this especially with a strength card as well so this is your reading and i really hope it helped you and gave you lots of clarity definitely do um if you claim this reading you know don't forget to comment down below like the video um and also you know let me know how it resonates and in the comment section below um don't forget to check out the description box below for information on private paid readings free reading giveaway and of course the intention items which thousands of people have seen results with definitely do check those out as well and i will see you all very very soon i also have tiktok and instagram if anyone wants to follow me on there i post short readings on there every single day all right take care everyone bye